Turf on a gaming before 20. That's where I sleep, you stupid ass. What role steroids played in the Benoit murder suicide? The tragedy has made clear both how pervasive roids are in wrestling and how easy it is to obtain. Senior producer Craig Rivera spoke to crusading Albany County, New York District Attorney Daniel Soares about his nationwide investigation into the companies who peddled the poison on the Internet to people just like Chris Benoit. He was stoic, loyal, and dependable. But when Chris Benoit's close friend Eddie Guerrero died two years ago, the wrestler known as the Canadian Cripple revealed his emotional frailty on a world wrestling entertainment broadcast. I want to thank you for my heart and tell you that I love you and I'll never forget you. Because I will see you again. I love you, Eddie. <laughs> no one realized how soon Benoit's prediction would come true. Then last September, June 23rd, he failed to show up for a big pay-per-view match in Texas. It was completely out of character for the muscle-bound man with a solid work ethic. At the time, Benoit told friends in the wrestling business that his wife and seven-year-old son were sick from food poisoning and were vomiting blood. But the former WWE champion sounded groggy, even unstable. The day before, Benoit had apparently bound, crushed, and strangled his wife Nancy, herself a former wrestling personality once known as woman. And then later said, Benoit allegedly choked the life out of his beautiful seven-year-old son Daniel. A boy inflicted with a form of retardation called Fragile X Syndrome. He left a Bible near the child's lifeless form. When Benoit missed the WWE pay-per-view event the next day, fans learned he was experiencing a family emergency. This apparently led to the mysterious Wikipedia entry, stating that Nancy Benoit had passed away. The news appears to have come from a fan, wildly speculating but correctly about events in the Benoit home. What makes the entry so unusual, though, is the fact that it was posted from Stamford, Connecticut, where WWE Chairman Vince McMahon runs his multi-million dollar wrestling empire. By the time the pay-per-view ended Sunday night, Benoit had sent more text messages to fellow wrestlers, repeatedly listing his home address in Georgia, concerned those people contacted WWE management who notified the local sheriff. Authorities finally entered the house on Monday to discover Benoit hanging from a pulley in his weight room. His just replenished stash of steroids and other prescription medication was found nearby. We've been engaged in a, an investigation that has taken down one of the major distribution uh, centers, a uh, company called Signature Pharmaceutical Company in Orlando, Florida and information that we've received. There were products sent from Signature Pharmaceutical Company to uh, Mr. Benoit. Do you know whether or not those products contain steroids or human growth hormones? I cannot say at this point uh, what was contained within those uh, packages, uh, but the people whose names have appeared on our list were in fact receiving human growth hormones and steroids. killed his wife and his baby. All your good points went out the window. And I don't give a fuck who don't like it. I don't give a fuck who I offend. Basically, I just don't give a fuck. And if you like them and support it, fuck you. Because he's a piece of shit. That's why I sleep, you stupid ass.